Hey, it's Big Game James McCarty, the sports director at Flag Family Media. We're here now with the Dragon Women's Basketball Head Coach, Carlin Allison. Coach, a couple more victories for you last weekend against Augustana and Wayne State. Where would you say is the biggest piece of growth on your team so far that you've been able to see over this last month or so? Um, you know, I would say defensively we're pretty good. I, you know, we don't... Um have a, a ton of breakdowns like we did at the at the beginning of the season. Uh, we still break down a little bit defensively, but for the most part, defensively, we we're, we've done a really good job with our scouts. Over the weekend, I again watching the Augustana game, not maybe getting as much of a flow, but being able to see your team, it seems as though for the most part played pretty darn well for the majority of the night, being able to figure some things out. But then in Wayne on Saturday. The first and third quarters were really tough for whatever reason, turning the ball mm -hmm. over, not getting a flow. But it seems as though you made up for them in the second and fourth. Is that just showing some of the maturity of your team at this point, being able to rebound from tough quarters? Or what, what do you think is the biggest reason for that? Uh, well, I don't know what the big reason is with the quarters and scoring issues. But, you know, as far as the Augie game, I thought – uh, just hitting the free throws at the end shows a lot of confidence to finish Augie off, and that's a tough place to play. The Pentagon is not an easy place to play. Uh, so I like that part. Uh, the Wayne game, that was a clunker. Uh, that's uh, basically I felt all the way to the end of the third quarter. Uh, once we got to the end, I felt like we got some momentum at the end. And then, uh, you know, the fourth quarter, I thought we played really well. Um, but some of that had to do with Wayne uh, defensively. Our matchups uh, offensively weren't, you know, real good. And I went to our bench, and I thought our bench played really well. Uh, it created a lot of uh, scoring opportunities for us and then just really got after it defensively. But, um, you know, we tried to do a lot of things, you know, try to go into Taryn Johnson, try to go into Taryn Johnson, you know, try to drive. There's it, Wayne was not going to give us anything. And, you know, I called a timeout, and... I probably lit into them pretty good uh, to see if I could get them to stop doing some of those things. But we, honestly, we just kept on doing them. And then, I, at, you know, at the end of the third quarter, I feel like we finally got some things figured out. And some of that has to do with inexperience. And try to piggyback off that a little bit. As a lot of people that go look at your record, they go look and see how your season was. Starting out, I know early on in the year we were talking about the, the growing pains. You started out 0-7. You've now going into this weekend against Southwest and, and, and against uh, what's going to be Sioux Falls on Saturday. You've won five out of six. Mm -hmm. What is the, the biggest kind of area of growth, do you think, from your team to be able to do that? Is it getting confidence quarter by quarter? Is it the maturing? Because it just seems as though it's not that the schedule has gotten that much easier because you're in conference play, yeah. but you're just figuring things out when it comes to crunch time. I think, again, it's just you, you've maybe been there, done that. You saw that early on. Maybe we, you know, we experienced a lot of things early on. And, you know, the one thing, you know, when I, when I hear people talk about our record, you know, I could have scheduled soft. And I could have scheduled games that, you know, maybe we had a better shot of winning. And, you know, uh, our record probably wouldn't be in the conversation if I scheduled some softer opponents. But, you know, I haven't, we haven't played NAI schools for a long, long time. We haven't played what I feel are maybe lesser D2s uh, in a long, long time. And so we took our lumps, but I also feel like that really set us up to where we are now. And, uh, you know, I had a pretty good feel for what was really going to happen to us. And now I think that those experiences are, are going to pay off here and uh, once we get into it, a little bit deeper into conference play. But our league is so tough, and I think that the middle of the pack, really from, from maybe it's Mankato and then the rest of us, uh, it's the rest of us, you know, the timing we play each other, how are we playing? Uh, because teams are not going to play well all all conference long. Uh, and right now, I think Mankato is probably the dominant team. And the rest of us just have to fight it out. When you look into this weekend, Southwest, Sioux Falls, if you were to kind of put them together for this conversation, what is going to be the biggest key for your squad to try and come out with a couple more victories? Well, if you look at the Friday game, you know, uh, uh, Southwest lives at going to the rim and on the arc you know we do not match up with them at all uh you know they start five guards so it kind of brings me back to our washington trip uh you know terrifying um uh so hopefully maybe those experiences early will help us against uh, a southwest team that's very good very good offensively and we're gonna have to make them 
uh, pay uh, for you know maybe some mismatches on the defensive end on their defensive end and then USF same thing they're gonna make his hit shots they're gonna try to take the paint away uh, they're gonna be you know pain in their the butt uh, you know but neither team do we really match up well with no uh, you know, that's why I hate the South, because <laughs> we really don't match up with the South teams as well. But the one thing I do like about our squad is that I can go to the bench and we can change the whole look of our team. So that's really uh, been a luxury this year. From my perspective then after that answer, it almost sounds as though maybe another really good learning opportunity this weekend. Is that, is that the correct way to look well, at it? Well, let's not learn too much. Let's, uh, let's take the wisdom that we already have and let's just uh, apply it to these two teams and not you know, uh, make, make my job so stressful. Uh, but you know, I look forward to it again. I think that's what makes our league great is all these challenges that uh, coaches and teams present to each other. And uh, that's why I have great respect for all the coaches and, and teams in our league. All right, well coach, thank you for coming. It's your time. We always appreciate it. And good luck this weekend. We're looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. Awesome. I'm Big Game James McCarty with head coach Colin Nelson of the Dragon women's basketball team. Have a great rest of your day.